Day it is. My name is Jaime, giving you events on headlines you didn't even know you needed. And with that said, here's some more ingredients for that vent blender, humans. And before we get started, I would appreciate it if you would uh, come to and hit me with a subscription and hit me with a like button and turn on those notifications because I am here twice a week. And here we go, humans. Time for some vent sessions. I have a question, humans. Why is it that the prisoners that are locked up in some like maximum fucking security prisons how the fuck are they allowed to have fucking cell phones not only are they allowed to have cell phones they fucking got like social medias and shit and they're doing like live streams and shit like all day and they're like fucking thousands of crazy women on there fucking in love with these fucking guys who are criminals some of them was, might, might have been fucking inside dudes earlier that day they had agreed a new guy who knows but it's crazy that they're allowed to fucking have these fucking social media accounts and can do all these live streams. And some of them are pulling in fucking enough followers to where there's like revenue involved. And I don't know if they're getting revenue, but the shit is there. Like they are fucking making that kind of income. I mean, that kind of following. And so I don't know if it goes to their commissary. I don't really know if they allow that shit to happen, but it looks like they allow it to happen because they're on there like all the time, like just live streaming like it ain't shit. Like they don't even care. Like, it's like fucking 10, 12 dudes on there. And like, you know, it's crazy. I just think it's crazy like a, like a wardens and nobody have just caught on and they're like, okay, let's go on social media real quick and see what's going on. And you see your fucking guys in your fucking prisons fucking right there live streaming. They're right there in your face. <laughs> what are you going to do? I think it's crazy that they fucking just allow that shit to happen. I don't understand humans. It's, it's just really, really, really interesting to me. And it's wild. And I think you should limit who should have like uh, social media accounts. And I don't mean no stupid, crazy, like, uh, social credit score before you get all crazy like that. But I mean, like, I mean, I guess it is kind of one if you think about it. But damn. So now I'm in the fucking corner. I'm going to roll with it anyways. You know who shouldn't fucking have um, social media accounts? Besides criminals in prison? Fucking politicians. They fucking say dumb shit all the time. They fucking lie to you, like, every day. And they fucking sit here and lie to other people every time they got a speech written for them. Like, all the freaking time. And those people shouldn't have fucking, and they say a bunch of dumb shit like all the time, especially our prez, you know, you know, refer to our prez, any, any fucking video you want, you know, he's fucking, even the old ones where he was making sense, he was still talking crazy as hell. But regardless of that, they should not have fucking, um, social media accounts, sexual offenders on the people on the sexual offenders list, whatever sex you are, you should not be allowed to fucking have a social media account. You shouldn't be allowed on go on people and just like stalk people's fucking photos like some perv. You just shouldn't be allowed to fucking do that shit so freely. I think you should be restricted because a lot of people that are probably supposed to, you know, um, like maybe you got to recognize or put themselves out there in the public or got to put some register themselves, I guess, or whatever you call it. Uh, maybe some of them don't always do it. Maybe they're not all fucking most honest people. I don't know. But I feel like they shouldn't be allowed to have it either. She should be crazy. And another thing that's been getting me a little crazy humans. We, it's not bad enough that we already have one of the worst football teams ever. Well, not even the worst football teams, one of the worst professional teams ever. Like in history. <laughs> it's noted. <laughs> now they signed up to do the Hired Knox show. All right. And everybody's like, cool. You know, a lot of people are like, awesome. This is cool. The Lions are going to be on there. No, nah, man. This ain't really fucking cool for us. Because like the preseason and like before the season starts is when all the Lions fans like had that hope. Like, this is our year. You know, we're like holding on and we're like doing like, this is it. You know, this could be it. This looks like some good guys. This looks like a bunch of good, this looks like a group of good guys. This looks like a group of good guys. You know, every year. But no, now we get to fucking watch them on Hard Knocks and see them suck before the season even starts, which eliminates all of our fucking hopes and dreams of the preseason. Like, oh, we could go 4 0 in the preseason. We could have a killer win in the preseason. You know, if the playoffs started right now, we'd be in first place. Because we, we, we had a winning preseason. 
But no, we're going to see it on Hard Knocks. We're going to see the fucking live shit, like, right before it happens. Like, oh, man, don't get hit in the fucking ball. And, like, he'll be the fucking starting wide receiver when the game, when the season starts. We're going to be like, oh, shit, he's going to get the fucking ball. Or he's not going to get it because he's going to fucking drop the shit. We're going to get to see that shit live. And then we got the draft coming up. We got some really good positioning to pick some really good players. But these dudes don't do it. I'm sorry, humans. They don't fucking do it. You could have the fucking super crazy, you know, 95-star athlete. Wherever school he came from. This dude's like, a, oh, like the fucking church bells and doves fly out when the dude comes out on the fucking field. You know, the dude fucking just comes out and his sweat is like fucking worth more than fucking NFTs right now. They want to make NFTs from his fucking sweat droplets and shit like that. That's how fucking valuable this dude could fucking be. And the Lions will go like the fucking 95th prospect, you know, the fucking like fucking one quarter star player, you know, they had the potential. Maybe he's got the longer upside. And then the dude fucking doesn't do shit on our team. Except piss us off. All the time. He just fucking piss us off. We get to the game, we got to, you know, I used to be locked in. Like I said, I used to be locked in. I'll watch my, some games they had me so nervous, I'll be like, hands on my knees, stand up, like, you know, and I fucking fell for that shit so many times. But right now, you know, it's like I got to just see something happen. It's like I'm not a fucking bandwagon fan either. I'm still a Lions fan. But I'm just a realistic fan. Like, see, it's just clear. This is like, I'm a realistic fan. Like, I know when we're out of the playoffs and when to disconnect. Like, oh, if we win, you know, if we just win seven more games, we could just be in the playoffs. You know, like, or, you know what I mean? We were like two and six. Like, if we win out, you know, we, we got all the hard teams and shit. Like, fucking all the hard teams, like, fucking lined up. It's like, if we win out, like, I mean, like, we got a shot, you know, to get into the wild card. No shit. But what good teams do. Don't say like we do, like good teams have a shot. And I'm sorry that I'm hard on my team, but it just sucks that this like is going to just eliminate all this shit. That's all I'm saying. But earlier, like I said, I found an article who this person, you know, like <laughs> wrote this article and it was like talking about um, the trans sports thing. Since we're on this sports, you know, I had to figure out we go on this, like um, cover this like trans sports topic for a minute. Humans. Now, I don't know what your take is on this, but like they were talking about like, um, the, you know, the controversy with the swimmer and the bodybuilder and like the fighters and like all these things like that. And I believe if you are OK with that happening in those sports, then I mean, you signed up, you know, whether you get beat up or, you know, the person wins or not. But, you know, like my this question in this article, like it's also kind of like a good question. That's why I was like my question. It would be interesting. I kind of like share the question maybe. But I don't want to be offensive either. But um, this person wrote in this article like about the WNBA pay scale, how it's different from the NBA players. And it's like very like big, you know, big, huge pay scale gap. And a lot of people um, attribute it to the entertainment value. And I kind of feel like that's kind of hard to say because you kind of have to change um, the, the difference like of what you're watching, you can't expect to have, you know, something, I feel like that's kind of a large load to carry when you have different type of people playing the same game, but they're also very talented in both and at the same game, they're both talented. So when it comes to like a person in trans sports and like the WNBA, when, you know, and they, they always say the pay scale is so different. What if there's a time where a trans person, if there's not already one in the league, I don't know. Um, if they come out and they start lighting up the game, like they start taking the game to the air, almost like what Jordan did when he came to the league. Like they change the game the way the WNBA is played. OK. So, you know, in this article, they were breaking it down, something similar like this, this, this scenario. So let's say you had this um, Jordan S type of player coming into the female league and they start dunking and doing all this crazy like high flying um, acrobatic moves, uh, crazy athletic finishes, windmill dunks, you know, you can alley-oop. I mean, they're doing crazy facials, jumping over people, through the legs. Um, it's, it's pretty interesting to think about, you know. So then let's say this person makes it to the league and everything's cool. Everybody's happy with it. They're lighting up the league. Like I said, they're flying. Um, will they want a slam dunk contest? Or But what if it's only one person that can do it? You know, would it uh, would it um, justify a slam dunk contest? I'm not sure, but it also would do something with the pay. I also think it would definitely, definitely affect the pay scale. Because let's say this high flying person, this trans athlete, comes into the WNBA, lighting up the scoreboards. You know, like I said, killing everybody, dunking on everybody. 
and they get the fucking hundred million dollar shoe deal from from Nike or whoever. And there's other people that aren't doing what they're doing and their pay scale ends up being different in the same league. So what that issue was from this this person who went anonymous, would people have a problem with that? Like when that person comes into the WNBA and just like I said, takes the game to the air, brings it to another level and changes the pay scale, but not for everyone. Because everybody wants to put the high flyer shoes on and they want to pay that person all the money but you're not the high flyer athlete even though you're the same you know you're just as very talented but you just can't do that part it, would you guys be okay with something like that like let's say what i don't know what the average pay scale for the wnba player is for a high-end player but let's just say somebody gets a hundred million dollar shoe deal and they're making like fucking you know like lebron money or you know something crazy like that or some crazy you know 85 million dollar two-year deals in some kind of league or three-year deals or some shit you know what I'm saying? Uh, would you guys be okay with that? Would you be okay with that happening in your sport? I'm not, I don't know. You know, it's, that's why I would like, it's an interesting question. And the article went into in depth. Like it was just like, they went so in depth in things. I can't, I don't remember it all. Like I said, I didn't want to feel like pulling it up. But it was just really interesting. Um, like I said, it's just an interesting question. Would Would females have a problem with that if they change the game? Like somebody comes in. And like I said, that dude decided to go anonymous, so I don't even want to, uh, like I said, I don't even want to promote the mag. So I said it was anonymous straight from the issue of, um, issue number 189 of Fuck You Magazine. So anyways, there's a lot of crazy stuff happening out here, humans. Everybody sees what's happening, those lockdowns that over there, overseas. Oh my goodness. You know, it's really frightening when you see that kind of thing. Because you wonder, like I said, you see all the things that was happening overseas and like other countries. And I felt like they were practicing to, like, come over here. And we were like, no, nah, man, this shit, you better look again. You know, this shit, no, 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 it was a good try, you know. But this crazy lockdown that's going on over there, and people are saying they're running out of food and things like that. That's kind of scary that people would just allow that to happen. And if you're going to try to do that in other places, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know, man. I mean, you, people will have a breaking point at some time, I believe. I believe some people would, you know. I mean, who knows? But I'm going to, you know, this brings, this lockdown thing brings me to like, um, it's going to bring me up like to like a controversial um, uh, topic, which uh, people might put in the conspiracy realm, I guess. They put it in the conspiracy realm because it's kind of wild. It is a controversial type of topic. But with this lockdown scenario here, this is so serious. And like, if it comes over here, like it comes in other places, like people are going to hit a breaking point, I believe, and they're going to resist, right? But this controversial topic I'm talking about is, is um, it's something that you look up on the internet with the, with the conspiracies and all this thing, like a secret government project, you know, they called it Operation Looking Glass or Project Looking Glass. I think it was Operation Looking Glass. So this Looking Glass project or whatever, Operation was some kind of secret technology that, that our government had that apparently could look into the future, into some device. You could type in something or put in a scenario, or you could even just straight up look and see into the future what would happen. And where all these elites, were, you know, were expecting to see them, you know, taking over and ruling the world. I got something to tell you, humans. That's not what they saw. And this is why they're keeping it from us, because if this was something that could benefit everyone and they were like, look, they just told you, you know, now you got to listen because we're always leaders, as you see. But no, according to this, every time they would put any kind of scenario, all these big leaders and all these big elites and elitists that tried to do this dictatorships and these things that were happening to us, they all failed. They all failed. There was no like. There was no like uh, victory. There was no like. There was no like um, overcoming of us. They weren't ruling us. They were doing, they, they, they failed every single time. And so that's why they're trying to keep this secret from us humans. Because every time they tried this, put in different scenarios. Like what if they do this? What if we tried to enslave them like this? It, there was a point where it was like, you lost. And it's interesting when you think about it. It tells me something humans. It tells me something like I, like I spoke on before that we will get a breaking point. There would be a point where we just stop and we're like, enough. And I'm not talking about the J-Lo movie. <laughs> so we'll be talking and, and they'll be like, you know, we'll be getting pushed to a certain point and pushed to a certain point. And it'll get to a point where, okay, that's enough. And then everybody gets together. All the humans seem to get together. 
you know? And they have this thing like what they call like what you could call like an awakening, like some kind of like colossal, like giant awakening. And it's really interesting, you know, when you read about this stuff, like I said, but it's very controversial. And you, you, it's only, it's, and I'm only trying to bring a lighter side to something very bad is happening. You got wars going on. There's all this crazy shit going on, but there's also this twisted tug of war going on with the media and all this information that's going out. And then when someone like me or you or someone out there wants to put out something truthful, you know, they come out there and it's like all of a sudden you're the liar, you're the chump, you're ain't nothing, you know, or, or like they use their power, like uh, what's happening to me right now. I get views taken off my videos, they remove them. I write them and ask them what's going on. They say they're bots. I get like a, a nice little uh, momentum gain on my viewership. And they'll just like rip 100 views off a video, 60 views. And being that my channel is so new, those little views are very noticeable to me. Because I like, I'm very, I, you know, I take pride. I'm trying to put out my work out here. And I notice that they're trying to do these things when I'm trying to just have fun with these events and do these things that I'm doing here, you know, to entertain. And so people don't get my notifications. I don't even know if they have them on, but a lot of people were telling me they're not getting them. Um, I've had episodes removed. Like I said, multiple, like all the time, my views are just getting like taken away. I don't understand. Like, I don't know if you can remove your own view, <laughs> but it's like I'll have them there and it'll be just gone. Like a hundred, just gone. So I feel like that's them trying to mess with us in, in their powerful way. You know, they have some algorithm watching people like like us trying to speak the truth out there. And I believe the bigger platforms out there are having the same situations, but their view numbers are probably so much larger. It's probably not noticeable when they're taking the numbers down and stuff like that. It's pretty wild when you think about it. But it seems like we stop them every time. There's some point where, you know, like I said, we end up winning somehow. It's almost like the endgame film, except in this scenario, they were never going to win. It was not no scenario where we lose. It was every scenario would they were like, was there ever one scenario where they'd win at all? There's not. According to this, you know, this controversial topic here, this story here with this, this thing that they supposedly saw in the future, every time was us overcoming all this stuff and their like superior domination reign always ending, always ending. So they were like never going to win. There was no story where they, where they do it. There was like no scenario where they finish on top, I guess, at the end of any of these scenarios. So I think if we stand and we do what we do, I mean, even if we surrendered, I believe we win. You know, if this story was ever true. There's all the crazy humans out there, all the Karens, you know, like if we all like re-diverted our energy towards the people that are trying to hurt us or trying to restrict us and trying to take away our freedoms, they would be in some serious trouble. They would have some serious problems here. It'd be like, it'd be like that uh, Cat Williams shit. Like if we all got together, all the crazy Karens, all the, whatever they call the dude Karens, all the fucking, uh, wild, riled up people that want to go to McDonald's and call some scenes and throw shit around and go into restaurants and go crazy and go into stores and go crazy. All the people like chaotic, even us. And like, if there's normal ones and non-normal ones, I'm probably in the non-normal category. I might be one of the chaotic ones. Who knows? <laughs> But if we all came together, it'd be like I'd have to like step back and quote Cat Williams and be like, this shit here, like this shit right here would be for real humans. And they would hear us knocking for sure. Because we have a lot of big numbers. I believe our numbers are way bigger than their numbers as far as if we wanted to. And I'm not saying like nothing like violent or anything. I'm saying like just to be heard and to stop your craziness. Like you're going a little too far. Like you got the steering wheel and like you got the reins and like, you know, when they give you an inch and you take a mile, like good Lord, you took fucking... Lots of lots of miles. You took fucking kilometers after kilometers. <laughs> you took a light year. Okay, let's just say you're trying to take a light year. And we're coming for that ass. We're not going to let you take a light year. <laughs> but they would have a hard ass time if we all came together. Like I said, humans, it would be epic. It would be gigantic. It'd be extremely, extremely insane. <laughs> At the same time. I never thought I'd be going through what we're going through now. So it'd be another crazy thing. I'd be like watching, going through the news, if the news would even cover it. Because the news don't cover our crazy president right now. Like our president's pretty crazy. Uh, his, our VP is pretty crazy. She's got the fucking, that fucking sickness of like Joaquin Phoenix's Joker character. Like she just can't stop laughing. And like I said, the, all the time we were like, you know, making jokes, having fun with shit. Because it is kind of fun. Other countries were catching on and decided to make fun 
of our present VP as well. So I found a clip that I had to share with y'all. <laughs> and I love it. Okay, I love this, humans. I got to share this with you. Let me see if I can get this audio hooked up real quick. Let me get the audio hooked up. Let me see here. All right. So I got this little video clip I want to share with you humans, and I hope you enjoy this as much as I did. humans this is what the country's now seeing with our president if you ain't seeing if and you're from here clean your ears <laughs> yeah that's what i said do it <laughs> because something's wrong with you because they're all making jokes on them too man it's out there it's kind of crazy it is a little embarrassing we thought we could keep it in house it, it got out you know we tried to keep it in house but the media just broke free damn it it's probably those damn prisoners that get to use TikTok. I don't see how the hell they're allowed to use TikTok, man. I don't agree with that shit. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, humans. And I would appreciate it if you would hit me with a subscription. Smash that like button with those notifications. My name is Jaime, and this has been another episode of Meant to Vent. Till next time, humans. See ya. I guess, yes, y'all, I guess, yes, y'all, I'm old school,